In this video, I'm going to explain an installation process that works well for shipping containers, Quonset style buildings, work trailers, and van or bus conversions. Also, for tubular steel or red iron type buildings where you want to install the Blutex directly to the metal and leave the framing exposed. In general, these are applications where you cannot use screws to attach the Blutex. We call it the shish kebab method. If you look at this picture, you will see why. This video is more about the concept of how it works and the basic install techniques, not so much the specifics about the install process for different applications. Typically, these structures are either non-conditioned or semi-conditioned, which means you are never heating or cooling them, or maybe occasionally heating them with the space heater, or cooling them with a portable cooler, or maybe a window AC unit. Blutex insulation products are perfect for these type of applications. A typical application would be converting a shipping container as a backyard shed. First, you're going to use perforated insulation pins. These pins are glued onto the inside of the metal surface. We recommend the Boss 180 glue. How far apart you put them is really up to you, but one pin for about every 5 or 10 square feet is a good estimate. Let the glue set overnight. Then it's time to make the shish kebab. Simply cut half inch or three quarter inch foam board into little two inch squares, and then stab onto the pins. This will create the required airspace for the foil to act as a radiant barrier and reflect 97% of the radiant heat. Then install Blutex onto the pins using the locking washers to secure. You can easily paint the washers to match. Then you will clip off the pins. Usually the pieces of Blutex are overlapped about three inches and the seams are sealed with the Blutex three inch vapor barrier tape. To create an internal vapor barrier, your goal is to make it pretty airtight. This method will usually prevent condensation inside the building since now the warm moist air can only get to the inside of the Blutex insulation and not to the cold metal. The inside surface should stay above the dew point, which means condensation cannot occur. As I mentioned before, the foil side will be facing an airspace created by the foam pieces to make a radiant barrier. This is like putting the building in the shade and will make a huge difference in keeping it cooler. For more detailed installation instructions, visit BlueTexInstallation.com and be sure to order your free sample kit.